One of your topics for CISSP is Windows OS security and today we will be learning about mandatory integrity control which is a topic which is often asked in the CISSP exam. I am going to open Process Explorer and I would like to run the Process Explorer as an admin. And once I run this as an admin, uh, if you if you don't know what Process Explorer is, Process Explorer is a powerful tool from Microsoft, which will help you see how processes are running under the hood. And what I have done is I have already enabled a column called Integrity. And this column is basically helping me see the integrity levels of different processes on my machine. Now, as you can see, there are several processes running here. And let me just quickly try to show you, right? All of these are system integrity level, right? And if you look at these processes, SVC host.exe, right? Service host.exe, SM, SS.exe, all these services are essentially like mandatory, or you can say uh, Windows internal processes right which are some of which are part of your tcb right now these are all run at system integrity however there are few applications which are not running at system integrity which are running with low integrity or which are running with medium integrity or high integrity let me show you some of them these are all system, right? You can see there are few processes that are running with medium integrity. And there are few which are running with low integrity. For example, there are some browsers, right? Some browsers and they are running with low integrity. Chrome.exe, that's running with low integrity. Now, why is this mandatory integrity control feature used in windows os it is used so that there is mandatory isolation of processes at different sensitivity levels right and lower processes or processes with lower integrity are unable to modify resources of higher integrity such as the ones with system integrity so hopefully this lab number one was able to help you learn a more about Windows OS security.